Welcome back here on Good Day Kansas. We're continuing our To The Stars series today. We are in Topeka. We are at the Evil Knievel Museum. Just a really cool place if you've never been here before. But Colby Sharples Terry, the Public Relations and Communications Manager for Kansas Tour Tourism. Colby, thanks for being with us Thank today. Thank you. So how did this museum end up here in Topeka? Happen chance, luck, no. Um, I think it's a really cool story. And I don't want to give too many details because when you, when you come into the museum, there's panels about it. But basically, Mike is a third generation owner of Historic Harley Davidson which is where this museum's house and he was able to restore Big Red which was Evil Knievel's famous big rig that he mm -hmm. toured around in and that created some partnerships and some co-owners of this museum and so even though Evil Knievel was not from here he was in Kansas he did you know jumps here and so forth yeah. um, it's kind of how this museum became in Topeka and why it's so special. Yeah, tell us about some of the exhibits that are here. Yeah, so actually my favorite is uh, one of the interactive exhibits where you touch a place on Evil's body and you can see like if he broke that bone, how many times he oh, broke gosh. it, how he broke it, because you know he had several, <laughs> yeah. several broken bones. Um, another crowd favorite is the virtual reality motorcycle. So you can put the headset on, you're physically on this motorcycle and you're doing this virtual reality jump, but you, you feel like you're on it. The bike's vibrating, there's, there's all these other sensory things that are happening and I know people love it, but it's just a cool museum. Yeah. Even if you didn't grow up in Evil Knievel times or whatever, like there's just so much cool information here. And as you said, I think the museum's done a great job of making this fun for all ages, not just maybe historians that want to learn more about Evil Knievel. Oh, for sure, yes. So Colby, we are in the capital city of Topeka today. It's been a little while since I've been um, up here. Tell us about some of the great things that are happening here in town. Yeah, so there's been such a great like downtown revitalization that's happened. There's great food. You have you know the pennant. You have Iron Rail. You have um, the new place called the Tea Box downtown. There's lots of coffee shops and shopping. You know, it's one of those destinations that's fun for family, Gage Park, Zoo, Discovery Center, but it's also fun for, you know, young single people or couples. There really is so much to see and do. Uh, Visit Topeka is a great uh, website to go to to see and kind of plan your little vacation here. Cool, well, we always enjoy coming up here and seeing where you're taking us every single uh, month. Tell us how people can get more information about Kansas Tourism. Yeah, go to TravelKS.com. Perfect, thanks so much for your time today, Cole. We appreciate Thank you. it. Don't go anywhere, more Good Day Kansas after this. If you would like your business highlighted on Good Day Kansas, contact us at gooddaykansas at ksn.com.